There'll be runs here, and four of them. But what kind? Keep an eye on the umpire. There's some bat involved. But the one thing you possibly need to just keep your eye on... Oh, no! Gone through the fielder for four. That's driven down the ground. Superbly played by Wolfhart. Finds a gap on the own side. Another boundary for a back-to-back -back boundaries for the skipper. Through the offside. That beats the fielder. Pulled away and she'll get another boundary. This will be the fourth boundary in this over. 17 coming of it. Pulled away, she finds the gap as well. Lot of width on the dedication. And that'll go down to the boundary. Maximum first of the day for Tasman Brits. From both. 32nd career ODI 50 for the South African captain and 6th against India. They're just opening up different angles on the ground. This being another lovely boundary. Lovely catch on the return. Arundhati Reddy was all alert and India have picked up their first wicket. Quick singer, there could be another wicket as a bad mix up for South Africa. And Tasman Brits, who's been batting so well out there, thought she could cross over, but she'll just be walking back to the dugout. Vacant area, one bounce, two, three into the fence, good enough. Another one! What an effort this! Arundhati ready! Is pulled off a blinder. What a catch. Bosch dismissed for five. South Africa 114 for three. In there and gone. Change of angle works for Shanka Patil. And she picks up the big wicket of Mazan Karp. Goes over the top, does Sunilise, and she will get a boundary. That's heaved away onto the onside. She'll get another boundary. She finds the gap. The clerk. She's a powerful hitter of the cricket ball. Oh. <laughs> Wicket for Pooja Masagar in India. And the partnership is broken. Sunilis goes back for 13. South Africa, five down for 143. Shangas has realized that she needs to listen to her former captain. And she's finishing the over with a boundary. One, six, three for five. And that's short and dealt with by Shangase. I know you've played one season with the RC. Oh my goodness! It's just been a very wrong communication day for the South African team. If we had one, a tough one, the second one as well. Who is it that's going to walk back? Is it going to be Nadine Diklerk or Shangase? Because they've both been on one end. The non-striker the non is out. We can load out on the big screen. 174 for six, South Africa. Wicket for Deepti Sharma. It's Nadine Diklerk. Who's missed a straight one yet again. One more for Deepti Sharma. This is a strong reply from the Indian bowling lineup. Quite a bit of turn for Shrenka Padl on that occasion. That'll run away to the boundary. Was there some bat on it? She gets enough on it. This will run away to the boundary. This is run fine. Looking to ramp it. She finds a gap. That's very clever, that from De Ritter. She's got hold of that. And a terrific effort this from Shalima out in the deep. And they go back for the second. 
nicely ball in the block hole. And that's the end of the South African innings. A good hand played by De Ritter. She's got 26 of 31 and this partnership has been really good for them. 37 of 46. It has to be said there was a lot of ebbs and flows in these innings. And uh, strangely enough, both sides will be happy with the way things have gone. South Africa for the fact that they got uh, 37 from this partnership. It didn't look like they were going to cross the 200 mark at one stage, but they have done. But South Africa have voted along nicely to go to 216 to put India as a target to win this series 3-0. Can South Africa restrict India or can India have a clean sweep? Be ready for the first ball. Abonga Kaka to Smriti Mandana. Stuff this a stroke which should give her immense confidence, Shafali Verma. Lovely. Through the offside, Smriti Mandana. A bit of a tease for the fielders, but the ball wins in the end. Just admire. Very easy, this is for India. What power, what placement. That was nicely played away. She's been in terrific form. She does exactly that, but without stepping out. And gone. And so this is the, perhaps the breakdown in where both players are in the urge of trying to find runs. This holds up in the surface and it's a smart catch by Bosch at backward point. She had to wait on it and make that last minute adjustment. And the timing has been so good from Smriti Mandana. Creams it through the offset on the location. Picks the length well enough and got right on top of it. She makes it look so easy. But I promise you, it's not an easy shot to play when the ball is deviating quite a lot. Playing against the turn and finding the gap with absolute ease is Smriti Mandana. Using her feet, going over the top, clears mid off comfortably for yet another boundary. And that boundary brings up the half century of the Indian vice captain. And the crowd is loving it. Off the edge. Priya Punya looking to drive through the offside. Ospina starts another over but drags it down. Goes over the top and she clears the boundary as well. Streaky, not the most convincing, but yet effective. Catch taken, second wicket for South Africa. India 123 for two. Yeah. Up and over. Just, just manages to get to the boundary between those two fielders. That's a poor ball. Should be a boundary. Over the top. Oh, top edge. Oh, taken. Totally against the run of prey. And as I was just mentioning, that these two do not want to give anyone an opportunity. And for the first time, she fails in this innings. India 171 for three. These two are just ticking it over, plays it nice and fine. Full toss. Let's go through the gap now for four. And he'll steal a single, maybe. Oh, perhaps close. We'll want to go upstairs and have a look.
Okay, the ball and the gloves both are touching the stumps and the batter is short of a crease. I'm ready with my decision for the big screen. It's 214 for four. Big shot down the ground. There's nothing more emphatic than that. All the way for six. India have been absolutely fabulous from the first ODI in this series.